as you can see, this is the first time you'll actually be seeing my face while I'm playing a game. I'm just going to be recording some lol, this will be the test, but if it works out alright, I guess I'll keep it up. But anyway, people have been asking for my reaction while I play games. And I'm actually do a video showing the new keyboard, the new macro and all that set up for it. But for the moment, just going to be doing a ranked, daily ranked one. Tom got stuck playing Tristana. Not the most confident champion, but... Saying that in its own way, not the weakest one of mine. Got that hero cream in the jungle, we got Lee Sin, top lane, Kennen's gonna be running the mid against Maud, so I'm not so sure how that will go. And I've got Leona with me. Once again, this is just a test video, just to test how the video quality comes out. Hopefully if it comes out alright, we'll be fine. And then I can start doing this for a lot of other games like Amnesia. I wanna shoot something. And I'll be doing ranked 5v5s, which we've been doing a lot more of. And we should get a five person perspective as well. Minions have spawned. Wanna see the fireworks? Okay. This should be a really safe start, I'm not too Sure, Ash with that insta crit on the first thing, that's all I gotta watch out for, I'm pretty sure. But after that's gone, I should be fine. Okay, seems like we're safe. Just gonna try to focus back on last hitting. It's just a lag test. Let's go. Pretty much, we make gameplay with Tristana, usually just hug a lot, play really defensive till you get that passive up high enough that you can really do some damage. I really want Ash to just basic attack already, there we go. First minion miss of the day, that was very smart. Alright, already up 10, 10 to 2, it's a really nice start. Do you want to get some quick damage there on that Ash and then I'll just hit it back. It's going to be a really defensive lane from them, as I'm sure, with, obviously with Ash, not, not the strongest early game champ. And with Soraka just supporting, just babysitting her. This will take a very long time. So I can try to do is just beat this Ash and Minion farm. I will be deciding on whether or not to put the, of course, the reduced healing onto the Ash or the Soraka. So I just chuck them. The Ash shouldn't have a life still yet. Okay, she's got boots. I can live with that. Alright, minions are pushing out a bit, so I think I'm just gonna let them clear these out. There we go. Just gotta watch out for that early UD ganks. But until then, it's just farming, farming, farming. It's a very slow game, and I'm sorry guys, I'm usually doing jungle or something a little bit more exciting. Way too much damage for my liking. Looks like our jungle's done a good job though, getting the first kill. An enemy has been slain. 
2 0. It's a good start. Quite happy with this. Really don't feel like bursting a pot yet. Might as well. Okay, one left. Okay, who is? Looks like he's gonna try to put some pressure on. Try that's worth it. Not a very heavy exchange there. But he still has got that red buff, so that's think, I think that's all I gotta worry about for the moment. If I can get enough farm, I should be fine. And there we go guys, it's a nice early little double kill. Now these guys think they uh, that means they can just steal my farm. So I'm just going to quickly go back, get myself a BF sword, make sure a few pots. I'm not sure how Leona is going on wards. I'll just grab the pot, she, she can worry about the wards. But that worked really well. Must say it's a really nice starting game from that hero cream. Could happen how that worked. Mords in my A though, that's a problem. Still there's some good turret damage. Maybe I should have stayed. Maybe they could have pushed that turret down, but there's no point risking it. Just gonna accept my accept that lead, go back. And now this guy better not push my jungle push my lane too much. Always back. Looks like Leon is going to head back. Right. Hopefully they can just push these minions out. <laughs> well, Soraka doesn't like this Ash so much. Just keep doing that, just keep... Play safe, just beat her in the farm mop. 45-21, so I'm definitely got an advantage on here, especially those two kills. That's really going to make a massive difference. Liam has got the Philly Stone. She's doing a really good job supporting me. I have no complaints so far. Come on, chase me. Pretty, pretty bad exchange there for me, but... One I can live with. Got my ulti now, so it's gonna have a lot of burst damage now. We'll reboard it up now, so I shouldn't have any problems with that. I can just get back to farming as usual. Well, we know, and obviously with the scout, we know she's got a hawk shot, so every single minion she's gonna be getting bonus gold. So if I can limit her farming, I can stop her from getting too much extra gold. All I need to do is just straight on that with the E. Got a weird feeling this person plays Soraka AP meter a lot. Oh, that was horrible, horribly done. Right, let's see if I can get some damage on here. There's an easy one. I must say, this Leona does know what she's doing. She's a much better Leona than me. Is this Soraka is still here? There we go, there's a bottom. There's a nice easy bottom turret gone. Cannon seems to be doing all right in mid here. Our team is up 7-0, I just realised that. Can you get ulti? I'm not so sure if this is worth the risk. 
gonna call it out. Don't wanna lose my killing streak. No need to give a mod bonus goal. So we go hit the jungle for a bit. Just trying to get enough money. Can I get another kill? Really well done there. What I'm trying to do is just get enough gold. Just to be able to grab that Infinity Edge straight out. I don't know if I should go Infinity Edge or Bloodthirster. I have got Leona here, so... It's kind of a hard choice, but... I've got enough of Bloodthirster, so I'm just going to take the safe option. Go back, grab the Bloodthirster. Since I have no heal in lane. Ash and Soraka, that way I can just reduce her healing. My healing will be a lot higher, even if she silences me, which she has been doing pretty well. I'll just grab that health pot. Head straight back to lane. I'm slightly underleveled now. I'm pretty much even levels with Ash. 42 to 68 in farm, but I can't push any further up without wards around this area here, so... Till I get any of that. Please don't push lane. Oh, I'm gonna miss all this if I can get there in time. Really feel like wasting a flash. Got a lot of damage now. Just one aggressive Leona. Shut down. Ready. Aim. Fire. It's not good. That's a kill for the Maud. There's another easy kill. Nothing too special there. Just walk up. Whoa, might want to get out of here now. We've got more Kai's. I don't want to reset, especially with his ultimate. Especially if it's up. It'd be dangerous just to hit a health pot, but... This should be an easy dragon. Ready, aim, fire. Just checking the farm. This Ash just has no clue what to do. It's a really strong, strong lane comp, I think. If I can, if I can make it draw aggro, we should be fine there. Okay, yeah, at least our jungle's here now. That'll help out. That wasn't the smartest choice. But we got Dragon to Alux. I'll accept it. Ready, aim, fire! Oh, Leona's still on my farm. An enemy has been slain. It's working out so far so good. Sure, what Ash is building into. She has only got a pickaxe, so you can see how that farm at disadvantage is really not helping her right now. Well, oh, mine is really starting to hurt. The, the advantage I have, I don't know if I should just try to complement it with the Bindi Edge, or if I should just go straight for Phantom Bands just so I get some attack speed with this. Because at the moment I'm life stealing, but I'm not life stealing for much, so I don't. I'm starting to second guess that. I'm not sure what they were trying to do with that, but... Obviously didn't work the way they wanted it to. But at the moment everything seems to be working out pretty well this game. This is a ranked game, so I'm pretty disappointed with how the other teams playing. Malphite might be now. I'm not sure. I haven't used that item since I started playing. It's obviously warded here. Kenan hasn't got ulti, so he's just going to burn that shield if he isn't. So 
So I'm just gonna head back. Try to get some quick items. I'm definitely gonna go for that. I'm gonna just try to complement this. If I can get the crit and the damage up really high, I can just get a lot of life steal. And I've got my Q to speed me up, so... I shouldn't need too much of it. So the more damage I can get quicker, the better. And I have got to watch out on this Ash. I'm on the way. I haven't got my upgraded boot yet. That's actually the biggest problem. Oh, she could get this turret, I'm pretty sure. It's at 1.0, I'm at 0.8. 104 to 237, there's gonna be, that's the major difference in this. I have got ulti, so... She's running for it, so... Not sure what she was trying to do there. Should she against somebody with life steal? Not the smartest choice. Just gonna quickly get some health back from these guys. And then I'll head back. Bottom, just keep farming. I'm actually gonna head back. I don't know if I'll grab my Berserk Screws or if I can get the 975 without any trouble. I might just go for that. We have all the other four up top lane, so. Pretty much free to farm at the moment. Look at the pretty explosion. This is looking like a very early surrender though. Mord's in mid, not MIA, this should be fine. Ready? Ash is back up, she's 0 and 4, 70 to 110, she's getting destroyed in farm. I'm back at full HP. So I could go and kill this Ash straight away now if I wanted to. Got no idea where their jungle is though. So. Oh, we have a little bit of trouble here. Oh no. Not well, the smartest choice from their team. That's going to be another kill for Cannon. This will be a 20 minute surrender guys, so it's going to be a really short test run. Nothing too special happened in this game, just a really dumb choice from the other team. Because of their bad choices, looks like we're going to get a second turret here. 18 minute mark. Not sure what this, this rock is going to try to do here. Obviously not the person to try to... There's not much they can do here. I haven't got enough. I've, only, I've got enough mana for a rocket jump, so if they jump in, I can. If they try anything dangerous, which they might try here, actually. I'm a bit out of position. Do we have about that? Just, they might grab a kill here. An ally has been slain. At least I can prevent them. This will give me a lot more spamming capabilities if I can get it without it resetting. Now I've got this blue buff, so I'm going to have a lot of fun just spamming my E and my Q. Rocket jumps will be coming in a lot more, obviously. Alright, looks like i got to head out of here. I didn't see anything, so I don't know what they're going on about, but must have been something there. 570 plus 975. I can go back get a pickaxe if I want, and get the, of course, the Berserker's Rears of it, but for the moment I'm happy just farming away. I have both of my summon spells up, so... I really need to put more points into that rapid fire though. I'm only hitting 1.3, which is nowhere near fast enough. Soon, Ash. This damage will be enough to. That's alright, it's an easy gold. 2180, so if I can get just enough. I'm just 
just gotta make sure I do this really well. Shoot the opposite of what I just did. They can just keep them in mid, I might be able to push this turret down sneakily in the back door. Just a moment, plant just straight away. Just Not too worried about the minion farming at the moment. Just want to get all my minions up here so I can get this turret get back out. And this should be an early surrender. Pretty much, they have nothing they can do here to try to stop us. Once this Infinity Edge is coming out, I'm going to be doing too much damage that they won't be able to stop me with the rapid fire. And with the rocket jump, unless Ash lands a perfect ulti and somehow has some enough farm. But at the moment it's 135 to 95, so I've destroyed her in farm. She hasn't even got her first major item yet. And I've already got two major items. This Malphite has to watch out for where he is. The Ash should be going down first, but... And this Ash is not going to last very long. She's gone. And there's going to be Malphite gone as well. This should be a GG for this. Malphite might escape... Nah. Hecarim is just way too fed. With anybody that gets this fed. You haven't got much hope. I'm going to push this inhibitor down in the mid lane. Hopefully I can get some support for it. See right now is where I'd want to go back get my upgraded boots. 22 minutes, still no upgraded boots. It's not the smartest idea. I need to try to pick this Ash off, but with Kenan without his ulti. So we can't. We can, they could turn this around, which is my main fear right now. To get a crit on there, so that will do a bit of damage, but... Just trying to serve all my spells right, so when I can hit the... Okay, I've had a little bit of a lag there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, still got that aggro on. That's not good. Just gonna get out of here. We're gonna accept the two turrets. Fiona, you gotta go back get some boots soon. This should be an easy, easy bit of gold. I'm just gonna go back, try to get some attack speed, which I desperately need at the moment, as you can tell. the Baron. Looks like we're going straight in. We have not much tank in us at the moment, but we're still... Lee Sin is pretty much our tank, and Leona, obviously. It looks like we have got the attack speed for this now. With the amount of crit that I have. The amount of damage, sorry, not crit, I don't have that much yet. This should go down pretty fast. That should be a GG right here. We can just push him. This looks like it's gonna be a really quick game, guys. wrong with stealing the enemy's jungle just to make sure they can't get any closer. Don't need to, this Maud is not too good and he's gone. Don't know what, feel like I'm playing bots this game just because this is too easy. There's a GG. And 
I hope you, you guys enjoyed watching this. There's gonna be a GG right here. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that. This has been Craig from Part of the VL Gamers, and I'll be back with another one shortly.